what is going on ladies and gentlemen my name is my mom said I can or formerly known as JD today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your voice sound good slash professional FL studio 12 now this is not advanced by all means this is for intermediate or beginners although I don't think there's much else you really need to use on a voice to make it sound good because it already sounds pretty perfect by my ears and professional but Everybody has fine-tuned ears for different things, so this is totally based on preference. Now, where I like to start is in Audacity. Okay, I like to record a sound clip here. Simply press record and start singing, rapping, talking, whatever you want. Okay, simply press record and start singing, rapping, talking. Okay. So, and then I just highlight by left clicking the mouse and leading off the edges by um, trimming up the audio to have the most raw form of the audio as in just the audio and no random spaces between. So whatever you need in your audio and then just go to file, export audio, make sure it's a WAV file and hit save. Now you see I already have some audio clips here. I'm going to use this one that my girlfriend recorded because it sounds a lot better than me singing and it would be a lot better for this video. Okay. Now to begin any sort of recording you at least need a mic and a good enough environment. You do not want to be in a very noisy environment or one that has a lot of hard surfaces that has your voice echoing all over the place. You want good good surfaces around you and you also want at least a decent microphone. I'm using $50 microphone right now and this is the type of results you're going to get out of it when I show you through this tutorial. And you at least have to have that, okay? Now we go in the FL Studio here. These are our basic panels that we're opened up with, okay? The channel rack and the playlist. What I like to do is open up your folder where you have your audio clips, okay? And you simply drag the file down on over here into the channel rack, okay? And it just brings it right over into the channel rack, okay? See how it's selected here? Now, what we, what we need to do first is open up the piano roll, okay? Because the actual audio clip is going to play longer than the actual channel rack. The channel rack is, I believe, only four measures long. I mean, uh, one measure long or one bar, okay? And the audio clip can be more than one bar, obviously, or however long you record it. So you need to make sure you go on the piano roll, hit the specific note that your your um, your audio clip was recorded with, which is always Q on the keyboard. Q is always the note it was recorded at, whether you're playing, putting in a sound here or wherever. If you don't know where that is, okay, you could just hit here okay and it will play over and over again like I'll show you birds flying high, birds flying high, flying high. high. yeah so it just plays over and over again so just highlight one of those go back to the piano roll okay and it's really tiny but you can find it right here that's the note right there Okay, and I believe my audio clip was eight bars long. I I just know from doing this over and over again. So I'll just put it over here. Just a quarter, a quarter more than eight. Actually, no, I won't do that because then there'll be an absurd amount of length left over. Actually, you know what? Fine, I'll put it there. All right. So as soon as you have that figured out, all right, let me show you. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Okay. So it would end right at nine, and if I played it again, it'll start playing again. So I put it at eight and a quarter. Okay, you guys can put it at whichever length is good for you. All right, then I like to paste it into the pattern here. Okay, you're gonna see that it's at the full nine bars just because it extended one beyond the eighth bar, okay? Now what I like to do is go back to your channel rack, make sure your audio clip is selected, go to the mixer, okay? Here we go. 
okay so you have the master selected here do not want the master selected because then you'll be adding effects to the whole entire song and they'll all have the same effects so we got to go to a insert or any of the separate inserts that you want okay make sure it's highlighted make sure the thing that you want to put in the insert is highlighted okay go to the drop down menu by clicking this arrow go to channel routing and or channel routing and select this channel to this track okay and then we go over here and add our effects just like that now these are the certain type of effects that I think sound professional there's not many it's not very complicated okay so this is pretty much the cojones of the video right here okay you go to slot one and go to select and I usually like to start with a reverb okay and what you do is you play through the playlist, all right? You play it over and over again. You browse to the presets by clicking on these arrows. Whichever one sounds good to you, you'd use that one. Now, I'm not going to tell you which one sounds, you know, best to your ears. That's for you to figure out what sounds personally best. But for me, it's either the first one or the third one on Fruity Reverb, okay? But I'll show you what I mean. Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Yeah, I like that one a lot actually. Okay, so This was the last one. Okay, so it's this is the second one right here that I'm using. This is the third one. So I usually like this one, the second one. Now, I like to add a fruity compressor, okay? I usually like the second preset on this one as well, which goes to minus 20 decibels. Um, so, I'll show you what that sounds like. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Okay. So you see what I did there by just muting one of these channels? What it does is it mutes the selected um, effect that you just put on and you just hear everything else. So I think it personally sounds better with the compressor. It sounds closer, louder, more crisp. And to make it sound even better is to literally go to Sound Goodizer as it sounds itself. Usually I like to keep it on A. Um, you can put on B, C, or D, but I think everything usually sounds pretty good on A. But I'll show you. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Okay. Birds flying high. So that's what I like on that one. Okay. And then lastly is going to be equalizer. You should always put an equalizer on anything that you want to sound more crisp or some sort of effect on it, some sort of filter. Equalizer will always do a great job with that, especially with vocals, okay? So the preset I usually like to use is this one with the spaced out bars, um, which is the one, two, three, the third one, okay? Or fourth one from the starting. So usually the third, three clicks to the right arrow and you're there, okay? So. Let's Birds go. flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. I think that sounds great. And just to add one little extra effect on it, put on another equalizer and layer them. Okay? And I like to use this one usually, right here, right after the spaced out bars, which would be the fourth one. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. I think that sounds fantastic. Now, the sound good eyes and fruity compressor make it sound a little bit loud, so usually I like to just push down the volume a little bit, just depending on what kind of song you're recording. But if you need it that loud, 
perfect, but I like to just match it with the rest of the song as far as volume. Okay, so that's basically it. That's all you really need is two equalizers, a sound goodizer, fruit, fruity compressor, and a reverb. You can add more if you want. You can layer some of them. You can definitely get more intricate and advanced for it to have a specific sound you're looking for. And that way you can get the best out of the audio clip. And for me, this is basically all I need to put into a song of mine. So I would keep it at that. And if you ever wanted to change the pitch to your vocals, I would highly recommend not going through here and pressing down on a lower key on the piano roll because it will stretch out the um, it'll stretch out the actual audio clip even more just so it sounds lower. So usually what I, what I like to do is click on birds, right? Or whatever your audio file is, go over here into the top right hand corner, go down the pitch, bring it all the way down or go to time stretching and bring down the pitch a little bit more. Time stretching, dragging down the pitch doesn't really change the time that much. It changes it just a little bit, but really not that much. The only time it actually stretches the actual time is when you change the time here. And that will make it sound incredibly low. and You will not be able to recognize the voice. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, so this will still keep it in the same amount of bars that it was re originally recorded with. Okay, I'll show you what it sounds like now. Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Boom, oh, there it is. And that's all you really need, honestly. Those are the effects that you need and it should sound perfect okay so you don't really have to mess with too much unless you're looking for a certain type of effect on your voice then you can have a whole entire field day with all these if you're trying to change your voice and put a filter on it go down a filter look through um blood filter that can do that if you're trying to add some sort of weird effect like uh some sort of scratchy distorted tune i would go down the distortion and put on like blood overdrive or hardcore and you can do those um i could do a separate video about that i'll have to do some research before though to really tell you in depth about it but yeah that's pretty much it so let me know if this helped you guys um i hope it does and let me know if you need any help with anything just leave a comment down i'll get back to you as soon as possible um, I'm going to mainly use this channel now for tutorials for FL Studio and coding as well. So you can make your own video games and whatnot. Let me know if you want to see that too, in case you're just wondering to do that and also make music, which is a stretch for things you would do. But you know what? Everybody's got their own things that they like to do. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if this helped. Okay. Have a good one.